Welcome to the shadow to suck up there. We are in is called the Eleven Hotel. All right, so we're in our second hotel here in Bangkok. Oh no, what have we done? Like Okay, so we originally filmed this room tour two weeks ago, I think, um, of this hotel. So this hotel we are in is called the Eleven Hotel in Sukhumvit um, on Soy Eleven. Um, yeah, so we stayed here. This is the place. So I'll probably put this at the beginning of the vlog, but we are now coming to the end of filming this vlog. So when we arrived here, we stayed here originally for three nights. And it is the priciest hotel we're reviewing in this uh, video. So this hotel is £60 a night. However, you kind of can't compare that to the others as this hotel includes breakfast. We are now back here due to the success, like I'm just going to spoiler alert, due to the success of this hotel. Um, like £60 a night, you would be struggling to get something that cheap in, say, England. Um, especially you would never get it with a pool or breakfast included. Maybe, yeah, I just don't think you would. When I was originally looking where to stay when we landed, like all we wanted was somewhere that we know was going to be clean and air conditioned and had Wi-Fi and we feel quite safe. So there was such a variety or spectrum in price and of what you can get that's like that little bit more. This one was on the lower end of that scale and I kept coming back to looking at the pictures and wondering whether or not we should we should stay here or whether we should stay somewhere maybe a bit more safer that is more expensive and you feel like you're getting more because you're paying more and like you're more guaranteed for it to be safe. Anyway, um, maybe you do, but this place is just so perfect. Like there's nothing too much, but there's, no, but there's nothing missing. Would you say there's nothing missing? No, there's nothing missing. It's just a bit noisy at night. Yeah, the only thing I would say is it's a bit noisy at night because of where it's located, it's on quite a busy street. Um, but we just sleep with earplugs anyway and the, vo the noise usually stops after 12 and it's not that bad. So I don't know if I said, but the reason we're here again is because my parents arrive this evening and I just wanted somewhere that they were going to be comfortable after getting off a long flight from New Zealand. Uh, yeah, I'll do a quick room tour. So you get bathrooms and there is a safe. We've already like passed stuff out. We've been here one night already. So that's a nice little touch. You get some bathrooms. And then the bathroom is lovely and clean mm, that's the problem that's basically clean isn't it and then yeah my favorite bit is the shower like it's just a nice shower and you get four bottles of water every time you get topped up and tea and coffee and you have a fridge and then just the bed and a desk with a very comfy chair. The has two mechanisms. It has a rocky way, and you can stop that by pushing the handle on the left here. Oh, no. And then it has one here for up and down movements. <laughs> so very comfy. Um, but the one thing I really appreciate about this hotel is it has Thai plugs, which is like European, but then also English plugs and USB ports. Um, so it just just makes charging so much easier. You don't have to worry about having loads of adapters. And then, yeah, this I think is really cool is the window. I mean, whether or not, like, I don't know if you actually want to watch anyone shower and you can shut the blind, but I just think it's cool. It's just different. It also makes the bathroom not feel like you're suffocating. Yeah, I like to watch you go for a sh in the morning. So it's, it's really nice. Actually. You normally have to get out and go to the toilet if you don't like, so. I mean, just, you can just... just got a viewing platform. But yeah, so that's the Eleven Hotel. So the next place we're going to be staying at, or that we have stayed at, that you guys are about to see, um, is slightly cheaper and it's just going to go down in price for the whole video. And watch to find out if it's worth spending £60 a night or whether you could just spend £20 a night. If there's the one thing in this place that we hate, it's the lifts. They're so frustrating. What room number are we? Come on now. 
All right, so we're in our second hotel here in Bangkok, and um, we just got the taxi we just got here, and here is our room. We're on the fourth floor of this eight floor hotel. What? Look at this bed. Let me just lay on it. Stay it. It's actually ridiculous. Like, how my wing. Bed is. So apparently. Oh, Shots a tall girl. No, apparently your wing, apparently your wingspan mm. is your height. No, mine's longer. It's different for men and women. All right. Well, rough, roughly anyway. So, so my height is 180 centimeters. I'm assuming my wingspan is similar. Well, that doesn't count, does it? It's from there to there. I don't know. Like this is this is taller. This bed is bigger than six foot long. Wider than it is tall. That's insane. And. First of all, we should say the hotel you've just seen was sixty pounds a night. This one is just over thirty. Let right? me let me just have a look. Anyway, the room is actually bigger. On oh, the location, not not too dissimilar. This was one hundred and six pounds for three nights. Okay, so thirty-five pound, thirty-three. Yeah. Correct. Maths. Yeah, we've got a sofa, which I'm going to quite enjoy. Nice little table, coffee table. Nice little work desk. I really like that. It's small, but I like it. It's classy. It's at sixteen degrees. It can go two degrees lower. In the last place. So I'm gonna stand with my I'm gonna stand with my eight out of ten for the last place. Because I feel like What are you gonna give this then? This is a nine, straight away. No, no, but there's things that's just different, like the upkeep is not great. Yeah, okay. That's true. And there's dust under the sofa and the bathroom I'm mm. not the biggest fan of. It's definitely less staff this place. The bathroom's alright. It's just a bit dark. Yeah, but it's uh, it's a bathroom. But look at this. You take a poo, you get out. You have a shower, you get out. Similar stingy situation with the coffee and... No, but we do have two things of coffee and we do have two teas. But we only have one mug and um, we do have two bottles of water. Let me show you, they're quite nice. Whoop. I feel oh. like that's quite, quite classy actually. Damn. Sexy. View. We've actually got a balcony. Actually quite a cool view. We're not that high up, I feel, but I feel like, well, I don't really care, but. Yeah, nice. We have actually already been up to the pool to check it out, but we're gonna show you, not giving any secrets away, so. So we've just checked in to the third hotel since being in Bangkok. We haven't even been here a week yet, so we've done three nights, three nights, and this place is booked for two. And it was done by accident because the place that we wanted to stay at next didn't have any availability until two days later. So it's called the Kea, Kea Heritage Hotel, west side of the river, so like the main river. So the main, like, the main side of the river, like where the Labua Tower is and everything, is like directly opposite us and we're on the other side we have just drove through like a very local place a lot of large markets like no 7-elevens maybe like one and i think one starbucks which is not what we're used to seeing um so yeah so it's a very small hotel and the lift is on the like it's in a glass lift it's on the outside so that was an interesting experience very small reception area it smells lovely but anyway this is our room this is the room so it's quite small um, and we've got currently got two single beds but she said that she was happy to like they would take this out for us but we can do that ourselves we don't need to worry um, you've got a bit of storage space for suitcases there some nice fluffy pillows and then the like bar workstation area with a fridge, have we got any water? That's the question. Yep, two bottles of water. Oh, and a nice ice tray if we want to. Oh, some little, look, little slippers. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite part, is the bathroom. So it's like some sliding doors. And then 
It's quite a nice sink, it's very clean. This is me, and this is the shower. And in this cupboard, because everyone's curious, is like a, maybe a boiler? Not sure what that is. No, it's, I, like, I like this place. So, the pool is smaller than it looks, and there's only one sunbed. But it's a pool and a sunbed. So, Welcome to the shadow to suck up there. Okay, so we are in the Chateau de Succumbit or whatever it's called and this, what day is it today? It's Thursday. We checked in on Sunday, so this is our fourth night, I believe. Fourth or fifth? Anyway, we've been here for a little while now um, and we check out on Sunday morning, so we're staying here for a week in total. And I just thought I'd give you a review, like, whilst we're into the stay. So obviously this is the place that we've stayed the longest um, and it's also the cheapest place. So this place, this place is £22 a night. As I said, we're staying here for seven days. Our first impressions was a bit like, oh no, what have we done? Like that whole, you've gone from luxury and now you're coming down to literally bare minimum. Well, yeah, what we thought was bare minimum. And our first impressions of the bed was that it was like too small and too hard. Um, and that, that it, this was just, you know, subpar. After staying here for whatever it is, four or five nights, I can say that this is probably my favourite place we've stayed. It's the bed is absolutely fine. Like there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. We've had perfectly good night's sleeps in terms of comfort. The only thing I would say is the fact there's only one pillow. Um, so when we're like sat watching Netflix, it can be quite uncomfortable or quite difficult to get comfortable. But maybe that's on us. Maybe we should ask for another pillow. In terms of like the maid service, so every other room they fail to top up the tea and coffee tray. Like we just get one lot, and we don't. Um, they also don't give us any extra like shower gels or whatever but this one we've kind of done it every other day so we've had um, days where we've put like the do not disturb sign on and they'll just leave in a plastic bag tied on the door handle a new toilet roll and two new bottles of water so I think that's so good because in one hotel when we had the service the um, I think it was the quart they forgot to top up the toilet roll so just little things like that like thank you thank you, thank you. You have to. Okay, so it's two weeks later, um, and we're now in Chiang Mai. What are you doing? Got nice legs. Uh, yeah, so my parents came and we, as you saw at the beginning of the video, we stayed in the 11 and then we headed to Koh Samui. So I think looking back at all of the hotels, each hotel served a different purpose. Um, and I don't think there's one perfect hotel. It just depended on or will depend on what it is you need or want out of the hotel. Um, for example, are you coming here on holiday and budget isn't really an issue and you want a sense of ease and luxury, then I'd go for the Eleven Hotel. Um, it's in a great location, it's near the mall, there's a lot of nightlife going on and a lot of options for, for eating. Um, the breakfast is amazing and just makes the day easier. In review, um, it, it just depends on, it completely depends on what you want and I think all three hotels depending on your budget, you know, set yourself a budget for the night. The 20, 20 pound a night was absolutely more than fine and what I'd recommend to somebody our age. However, if you have that little bit more to spend, 60 pound is more than enough. I don't know why you would want to spend over 100 pound a night on a hotel in Bangkok. I don't understand what more you would get 
from a hotel like the only downside to that 11 hotel was the noise but I don't think there's any way of stopping the noise in another well, hotel no, no, no. Um, and maybe it's a little bit smelly but just stay on the back side um, but like yeah and then the quart was just is exactly what it, what you'd expect to get for 37 pounds in great location um, just like slightly weathered room um, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with a scratch on the wall it's not going to affect you um, and then Chateau was just basic living and it was perfect for it so I feel yeah. like people are going to be drawn to the 11 hotel and I feel like that's our favourite one so far and to put it, put it into a little nutshell it's an amazingly good service hotel has everything and it's surrounded by those hotels like Mercure, Fraser Suites, Hyatt, which is like 200 quid a night. And they're bigger hotels, but you're getting exactly the same service and amenities. So if you're going to Sukhum Fair, I'd recommend the 11 Hotel. Good night. God save the king. Why do you keep saying that? <laughs> That's right. But it's seven minutes long, so I'm a bit worried. Yeah, well, I'm just going to cut out half of your rabbit, and that was completely irrelevant. I know. Um, are you going for a No. <laughs> we need to say goodbye, but I don't know how to say goodbye. Yeah, me too. Catch us in the next one. Yeah, that's our hotel tour in Bangkok done. Our next thing is probably going to be how we're living. You come here then. Alright, now we're going to finish this urination. Do you want me to say it or do you want to say it? Yeah, you can say it back. Right, so that concludes our hotel review tour of Bangkok. We're now here in Chiang Mai and the next video will probably be how we're living in Chiang Mai for £600 a month. I mean, it isn't. It's next a bit video more will be about Koh Samut. Oh, oh, the next one's about Koh Samut. Well, there will be one about how to live in Chiang Mai for £600 a month. Thanks for watching. Whoa! <laughs>